how are you today? My name is Eva. I'm the director of the Scottish Arm Festival and the Scottish Will Producer Showcase. The former of those two events is the next one to happen. It will be taking place in Perth at the Dewar Centre on the 9th and 10th of September. And the reason that we're doing these live chats just now is so that we can showcase some of the vendors that will be with us at that event so you can get to know them ahead of time, have a look at maybe some of the products that they're doing um, that they'll be bringing with them and yeah that's about it. Um, I would ask you for your patience today, um, I'm having some problems with my ear, I perforated my eardrum three months ago, um, I woke up yesterday unable to hear out my right ear at all. <laughs> it's no better today. I've had an emergency doctor's appointment this morning, um, so I am feeling just a little bit disorientated about it all. Obviously struggling to hear because I'm having to rely on my left side, but time waits for no woman. So we're going to do this anyway <laughs> and make the absolute best of it. So let's see if my guest is around. I'm hoping so. There we go. I'm praying to the, the goddesses of all connections. I should be joined by Ronnie, who is the wokeness today. So we sent that invite. I do know that we were chatting just before I came on with the live, um, but we're not sure to do with rural connections and things whether whether it will happen. So it should do. Hello, everyone. How are we all? So we'll just see. I do know that Ronnie has, I think she was saying that she's got a tablet and she's got a phone as a backup. Yeah. Hello, Ronnie. I have sent you an invite. Um, you should just be able to click it. Oh, you're sending me a request now. Let's go with that option. <laughs> go live with the welcomeness. That's what we want. I'm not really bothered which way around it goes, just as long as we can have a wee chat. So here we go. that moment waiting for the screen to go and split. I can see it once too. <laughs> okay it's saying that you're unable to join Ronnie. Do you want to try again or maybe try from a different device and I will chat random knitting. <laughs> will we try and do that? Oh the joys, the joys of technology. You just never know how it's going to be. Let's see, I'll send you an invite, see if that works. Oh. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Doing it, there we go. I thought, am I going to have to go and grab the sock that I'm working on there, pull it across <laughs> and just fill some time while we get a wee connection going? Oh, I hate, I hate that bit of going live. It's like, I know so the person's there. Generation, what are the generation Y or, or millennials? And it's like the love and hate relationship of technology that it's so good to have it, but also I'm so frustrated with it. And half the time I feel so old <laughs> and my children are the ones to show me what to do. Oh, I don't, I can see everyone going and joining the threads yesterday. And I'm like, no, as a small business owner, I do not need more social media <laughs> to work with. Please no. I know. I I just joined it as well because it's all the rage now, but I'm already dreading the time it's going to take to figure another one out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm resisting for now. <laughs> it feels like a small act to buy and say, like, no, yep. I do not need another app. <laughs> do not need more social I, media, but we'll see. Right it is what it is. So lovely to see you and to have a chat with you. We haven't really, we've never spoken face to face before. Nope. It's all been um, messages and emails and things. So thank you very much for making the time to come and have oh, a wee thank chat you with so me. Much for having me. Not at all. So for those people who don't know who you are, you are Ronnie, you are the Wokemist. You will be making your debut at the festival this year, but let I'll let you tell people a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Indeed, this is a huge thing for little me, as I say to everybody, because I'm, uh, I like to call it brand new. So I'm a baby dyer, just um, emerged from, um, from nothing and nowhere last year. And this will be not just my uh, debut with you, but also pretty much my debut at 
any festival. I've done one festival last year, a small one in Sterling, and uh, that was just to dip my head, dip my foot in the water. And I love the atmosphere of young festivals. So this is very big for me uh, to be able to, to come to Perth and be there in this much bigger um, venue and to meet everybody and to see the atmosphere that I'm sure is going to be amazing. So the, the preparations is well underway um, for me. The, uh, the diet plans and the yarn is constantly coming in and I'm working hard already behind the scenes. I've basically allocated the rest of the summer for my preparations. But yeah, I, I've started um, my diet journey last year um, just after my 40th birthday. I have been a big hand and yarn enthusiast and collector for the past about six years, I think. Uh, but I have only started dying after I got a pretty much big health care, um, a diagnosis of a chronic uh, condition. And after that, I just reevaluated what I want to do with my life. I have small children, so you know, I've always been doing part-time jobs in cafes and chip shops while the family was growing and the kids were mostly at home. And I think at 40, with this condition that won't ever go away, uh, I just realized I have to do something with my life that's going to bring me joy and that I can actually live out my creativity and connect with like-minded people and hopefully become part of a community which is supportive and, and loving because that's what I have experienced so far, just being a knitter and crocheter as well, that, that the yarn community is an amazingly up uplifting and supportive community. So that's how it started and it's just in the growing stages now. It's amazing when you start to sit down with people and learn about m more about them and their life journey. Just how many have of us have had an experience that has turned our entire world upside down? We've had to reevaluate everything and find new ways of working. Yeah. It really is. Um, I, I love this aspect of, of my job and what I do and having those conversations. There's a lot of us that are professional musicians as well. I've done that and then I've sort of moved you into this. Yes. It's, it's lovely to kind of see all those sort of different strands and different life experiences, but also finding sort of those similarities as, as well and, you know, connections and finding that sort of common ground. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you're part of it and delighted that we're going to have you in Perth this year um, and I, I believe you've, you've well. got the epic retrospect of joining you as your booth buddy as well indeed so you know talking about things to not miss that my sta stand or at my <laughs> stall would be the first choice was yeah do not miss meeting Alison yes I am so lucky to call her my friend and she's also I like to call her my fairy godmother uh, we meet regularly and I was so blessed to have her in my life for the past year and a bit from the get-go essentially. Uh, she's gonna be my, well, sidekick is not a good enough word, she's gonna be my big support and she's also gonna be in the designer um, uh, showcase I believe, so she's gonna yeah, be she meeting is. everybody and yeah, so fantastic. So everybody who comes, do not miss meeting her, she's just a wonderful person and uh, not only her but she will also bring her designs and I hope to offer a couple of kits for her designs as well because she's been designing using my yarns as well so very very excited to have her. Oh that's wonderful so the, the kind of theme that we're going with these lives just to, to kind of give them a little bit of structure is we are asking all of the businesses coming on to tell us or show us three things not to miss from your stand at the event and then we'll ask you who you're most looking forward to seeing who you don't want to miss excellent so um the first thing that i would mention is uh my most popular yarn base is a very gorgeous very very soft 85 percent uh super fine merino that's 19 and a half micron merino and only 15 percent nylon sock yarn so this is a really, um, I, I haven't come across it many, many times. Um, this is the one that I'm selling the most of. And from this, I will be bringing a big selection in fingering and double knit and uh, probably even iron weight since we are going into winter soon. So this base will be there on many of my colors. And those who follow me know that my colors is uh, not shy. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are more on the bright side not only but yeah mainly on the bright side 
And um, I'm also going to be offering this base in um, kits in terms of sockets of a 50 plus 20 and also a mini fade sets of it, which I consider a little bit of my, uh, my specialty of doing little fade sets of five times 20 grams ranging from, from the lighter to the darker with speckles and all gorgeousness. So I'm hoping to bring a lot of this lovely, lovely yarn base among others, obviously. So that is something that is suitable for absolutely everybody, even with the most sensitive of skins and still durable and still uh, perfect for any garment that you want to knit from jumpers to socks. It's not only for socks, but for jumpers and anything next to skin wear. So I'll be bringing that one. Another thing I those, would mention, sorry, sorry, I was just going to say those fade kits sound absolutely perfect for a certain shrug cowl that we're doing. I've seen that, absolutely. <laughs> and I was thinking about that when I saw the pattern. I'm like, oh, that is something that would be that would look really, really good. You definitely do. do. I, I think that's yeah. what you should do. Take it as a sign. You need to get casting on. You should use one of your yeah. fade kits. Yeah, uh, you know, it's in the planning. I, I've only got about 10 VIPs at the moment, so absolutely doable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hoping to because uh, that's something that I don't actually have a work, but I do have. So if you see these socks right behind me, it's probably not going to be very much visible on the camera, but that is actually made using one of the fade sets, but it's not going to be as obvious on the camera that it's coming from mm. the light all the way to the dark and this is actually only used four of the five so it could have gone even darker my sister made this actually she just gave it to me just uh, very recently so yes i i will do that because then it will be visible that is so handy to have a sample knitter <laughs> like on that hand. Yeah. i mean you know i i try to knit as much as i can as well but as you know time is always short and i'm so slow but my sister is great she's obviously a very good knitter as well and she's much faster than me because she's got a lot more knitting time in her hands than me so what what else have you got what else is there at your stall that people should not miss um, I'm going to mention, since I've already talked about Alison's uh, patterns and, and kits, but there is also another designer that I have uh, worked closely with for a long time, and that is Tanya from Vitalina Craft. She lives in Wales, and uh, she's a lovely person. And I have uh, quite a few of her gorgeous patterns I will have it with me uh, that she created in collaboration with me. One of them is actually right above that gorgeous Skyway hat. And she also has a brioche, gorgeous brioche cowl that she created using my arms and a lovely vest with this great um, cable pattern. So I have a number of her patterns as kits available. So the yarn and the pattern together that uh, will be available there as well. Uh, and then obviously with Alison as well. And if uh, you guys or anybody who has seen the, uh, the latest issue of the Journal of Scottish Yarns, the Robach shawl, the beautiful Robach shawl that Alison from Nitrospective designed uh, using also uh, my yarns, which I was so blessed to, for her to, to pick me. Uh, I will have the kits for, for the Robach shawl as well. The ones that was pictured in the magazine, I will have a number of them with me. Lovely. It's been a standout pattern from nice. the journal so Absolutely you see certain gorgeous. publications coming out and i'd like to think that i've been doing my job long enough now that you know sometimes you see a pattern it's like that that one's going to be popular you're going to see loads of them at a festival or whatever and it's it's the thorn and i will have a couple of the robot and then from... obviously susan will also have the rest of them so all the colors will be yeah. will be touchable and squishable at at first as well so that's very is that, for me. Yeah, is that a robot shawl next to you kind that of? That one isn't because the Susan still got still got mine. Um, the the one that I made was the bright orangey coral coral dahlia. Actually, UV reacted, so if I take it to the disco, I will be lighting <laughs> in that one. No, this one is uh, the Romy Hill Mystery Knit Along for from this. Oh, the Fondrel. Yeah. That was the one. So that that's what I've I've made with my with my own colors as well. Just after uh, the roba. So actually, the reason I used mohair for that one was because of the roba because I loved it so much to mix the textures 
that I went with a mohair where originally this make along didn't call for two different textures, but I just went ahead and did it anyway. So I'm very happy with that one. I will have mohair as well with me because I think, apart from the Robux Fest, because I think it's such a great combination, uh, merino and mohair together is just gorgeous. It is. And what is your final thing that people can't miss from your stall this year? So, so I'm going to show these lovely little things. So this is something that I make. I make these myself. And these are real gemstone, completely snag-free stitch markers and uh, progress markers. I make them in two types, with the lob lobster clasp or with just fixed for knitters and crocheters. And I love to look into the properties of gemstones and what they do and what kind of good effects they have on your body as well. And uh, I just love these. I make these based on my sister's fantastic design. She taught me how to make them. She calls them the bonbon stitch markers, <laughs> which it's just so cute, such a lovely yeah. French word. So I will have a selection of them available as well. They were, uh, they are really popular among the people who know me. I don't usually offer them for sale. So this is a very exclusive thing that I bring it to the festival because these are not something that I sell normally. Sometimes I give them out as gifts for my customers and uh, very occasionally I would have a few of them on sale, but most of the time it's just for special occasions. So. So Perth will be a special occasion. I almost forgot to mention, uh, this is a number four, but I'm also gonna bring a secret Perth exclusive colorway that I will create just for you guys. Yes. <laughs> I get really excited about the exclusive colorways. That is, that is in the planning already, and I'm so excited about it. And it's not gonna be available, so it's gonna be there. I'm gonna bring a bunch, and then I won't release that for quite some time after the festival so it's make it or break it if you if you grab one then that's you so it's all go at your stall then yep loads of exclusives the lovely allison yourself making your debut it's going to be incredible yes i'm going to have a tiny stall but it's going to be very exciting and, and busy in terms of i hope it's going to be busy because i hope everybody's going to come and say hi but in terms of busy, it's going to be a lot of different little things to see in my little table. So I really hope to see many, many people that I know from social media. And if they come to just come and say hi, and please always say who you are, because my name memory and face memory is terrible. So just uh, introduce yourself and, and give me a cuddle. I'm a big hugger. So, <laughs> so I'm really hoping that, that I meet many, many people. Well, I can see loads of people going pun intended, flocking to your stall. So if you haven't got your tickets already, people, they are available on the Scottish Arm Festival website right now. They are going quickly. <laughs> They're going really yep. quickly, <laughs> which is fabulous. So there will be tickets available on the door, but as always, those tickets are limited. We can't predict who's going to turn up without a ticket. Um, so we have to do first come, first served. Yep. We've also got the, the fire regulations that we need to abide by. So if you desperately want to come, then Hazel soon got mine. Thank you, Hazel. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, if you want to come, if you, if you absolutely desperately want to come, we would, you know, strongly recommend that you get your ticket as soon as you can from the website. Um, what what else do I need to say about that at the minute? I I don't know. It's it's been a week. <laughs> it's been a bit of a week. But yeah, the, the tickets. Yeah, the, the, the tickets are there. Um, I'm just, it's wonderful seeing all the vendor spotlights coming up, having chats, because this is me kind of getting to meet you as well, because yeah. I don't really get the chance of doing that when I'm working at the festival. So that's lovely. But just before we kind of wrap this up, what I would say is that if you cannot come to the festival or you can't wait to get something from the Wilcomist, you can go online. If you're going to make an online purchase, um, after you've kind of seen this little chat, please do put like a little customer comment in the customer comment box or, or send a wee message or something and please let Ronnie know that you have found her through our interview, through her involvement with the festival. Um, it's sometimes difficult. I mean, sales in the day you can attribute to the festival but it's about so much more than that and unless we you kind of spell it out um to the vendor it's kind of sometimes difficult for them to work out 
where these new sales are coming from, you know, has it come from their own social media account? Something's popped up. Has it come from an ad that they've paid for? Has it come through us? So please just take a moment. It doesn't cost you anything just to say, saw you, saw you with the Scottish Arm Festival, saw you at the Scottish Arm Festival or just was on your YouTube channel and saw the chat. <laughs> you know, I have, by the I way, already really noticed an uh, influx of followers just because you announced the vendor gallery. So it's like on the day. And I noticed because I'm small. So for me, the new followers is very noticeable. You know, it's not like I've got 10, 10 20,000 people and, and I won't notice an extra 20. I notice and I've noticed. Did it, like, did it just go like... And they just they just came so i know to attribute it especially since because when you announced it i was actually on holiday in hungary doing absolutely nothing on social media so i was abandoning ship and they still kept coming so i know for a fact already that it's it's had a great effect already so absolutely that's great and you know it's sometimes difficult to kind of like say that with our vendors as well because it is it's the whole thing with being associated with an event it's, it's not just on the day and on the days on, on the day on the weekend it's incredible and it's buzz and it's all the things but it's it's all the little associated things as as well so and it can yeah, have a long-term so, effect of course and like months and months on and once you, they take your card and remember you or just follow you and then later on so absolutely yeah so i am trying to kind of hammer home that point and these little interviews and things as well you know obviously we want as many people to come to the festival celebrate with us in person but you can also celebrate with us vicariously at home wherever you are and there's there's ways of kind of letting us know that so we can we can attribute that that is so so helpful to both of us so please do that so before we wrap this up because i I don't want to wrap it up you're an absolute joy to speak to really enjoying this but um out of all the vendors on that list, who are you most looking forward to seeing? Oh, so I've got, uh, can I mention three? <laughs> yes, so yes, you can. I, I have to start with uh, Gerge and Melinda from Zakamians. Mainly, I, 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 they are just wonderful people and also they are fellow Hungarians. So we are from the same home country and I'm so looking forward to saying hi to them and also to just chat a few sentences in my mother tongue with them. And because I believe last year, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they won best stall last year with you. I can Not with us, no. We, with anyway, somewhere, no, but anyway, I'm we very don't, looking forward to, to, the, yeah. to the stall because their stalls are always great, so beautiful and so authentically them, you know. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm, I'm very um, mesmerized by the work they do and I'm very proud of them, like, coming from my home country as well but just as a dyer because i think that what they do is is just very genuine and authentic and beautiful and another two people i look forward to say hi to is becky from amoyan and john from this topic fiber because i had uh, the pleasure of meeting them before in real life and they were both just such wonderful people you know just so lovely to be around and just so easy to chat to immediately as a complete stranger so i hope i get the chance to say hi to them and i already got some yarn from becky but i'm very much looking forward to hopefully somehow grabbing like getting my hand on a fade set from john (laughs) that's a dream of mine to own (laughs) so i haven't done the floor plan yet <laughs> but i think i'm gonna to have to put you close to ammo yarn <laughs> and to stop it by for then that i can, can totally do that. that oh we would have an absolute party <laughs> together i'm sure of that i'll consider it done i will get oh, on that then lovely oh, um, thank you because honestly but yeah. i could probably go on and mention like a bunch of other because i saw the vendors gallery it's amazing i cannot wait i don't know how much time i'm gonna have probably not much besides before opening and after closing but i'll do my best to have a wee wander around because it's just so exciting oh thanks i absolutely love what's the cami um, are doing as well. And we're really lucky to have them um, be part of our trunk show at the reveal day. Oh, yeah, um, so Gergely and Linda and Esther all sort of came over and I'm just, I'm completely in awe, you know, here's a brand new colourway and here it is available in like 15 different bases and you're like, what? <laughs> it's I know. the scale and of what they photos, do and the their photos. Oh my goodness. It's just like a visual uh, joy to, to look at whatever they're posting, honestly. So yeah. It, 
really is. Um, we don't do kind of like best stall display because, I mean, how, how do you judge? Yeah. How do you judge? It's very um, personal so I think, and very uh, yeah. subjective, isn't it? I think it... I think it might have been Yarndale that they got, but what what we I do know I've is um, on their social yeah. Point, there. yeah, but they are all over, so they've been to many many shows. I yeah. know that last year. What we do do though is we have a, a spirit of the festival mm -hmm. award, and it's more, it's more than just the good display. It's there's a lot of factors. I've never kind of like quantified what we do, but it's to do with kind of interactions and spirits. And sometimes you know that people have been through adversity behind the scenes that they maybe haven't made public, but you're aware of that. And you know mm. that it's, it's been a little bit more challenging for them to get there and, and things. And we do a something like that. And the, the person oh, that wins lovely. that award is a shoe in for the following year. They get a free stall, free single stall oh, wow. from us oh, for the following lovely. year. And that's what we do. And we give them a little certificate, but it's all kept completely sort of surprise like until the actual the day. Oh. So, um, Bus and Yarns won it last year. So, yeah, so I think everyone knew for about a year. <laughs> and Karen's just like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it did this. It's like, yeah, you're the only person that's allowed to see you're coming. <laughs> for the next while oh, everyone's has got to stay quiet oh. but i mean the sakami stall was outstanding because i think they had it was almost like a yarn menu with tasting notes i wanted to say i, I didn't get a chance to have a, a really good look but it was a music stand in the outskirts of their stall and just everything about it was just incredible and we I do know. have some photos of their stall somewhere on the website and on social media so folks should definitely go and check back Absolutely. But, yeah. and also you know as on a personal level as well because they're just such genuine lovely people and there's so much helpfulness and support uh, in them you know with everybody and that's what i not just personally because i don't know them that well but obviously i have met them before and that was my initial um takeaway is that they're just you know good people and no, just the support that they give to others as well. It's just like, just, you know, lovely people. <laughs> and uh, very proud to, to, to be from the same country as them, if you, if you want to put it like that. But we yeah. both ended up here in this beautiful Scotland. So, uh, and doing, doing our yarny things. So, yeah, it's, it's nice, nice to have a fellow, fellow Scottish Hungarian uh, to meet at the festival. So looking forward to that. Oh, that's fabulous. Ronnie, I've had such a lovely time chatting with you today. Yes, thank you so much. Too. Thank you so much. It was lovely to finally meet meet you, meet you in person or at least via via video call. And uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it was a great opportunity. It is a great opportunity for me to be able to, to come to Perth and join this amazing Randall Gallery. Oh, it's a pleasure to be welcoming you and, and having you as part of it. So thanks everyone who's joined in i know that we had a wee flurry towards the end there so do not worry i will in a few moments save this chat to our grid i will also save it to our youtube channel so you can go back and watch from the start and um until next time i think i think our next live is scheduled in for monday so fingers crossed that one will go without a hitch it's somebody <laughs> who's been taking part in one of our events before but i'm not going to tell you who they are yet um, but Ronnie, have a lovely weekend. I, you I'm too, a hugger. So I can't wait to give you a big hug. Yes, me either. Thank you so much. You too. Have a lovely weekend and have a nice rest if you can. <laughs> I will do my best. <laughs> bye bye for now, Thanks everyone. So much. Bye bye. bye.